bring forth the haters come now yes so so i want to start this video by shouting out tgin this is not a sponsored video and tgin has not asked me to make this statement but i do want to shout out tgin which stands for thank god it's natural and this line is a bit on the pricier side but if you are someone especially who has type 4 hair girl this line has helped me a lot now like i said it is a bit on the pricier side i think this deep conditioner was like damn near twenty dollars that's a lot of coinsies like my hair loves this product it's so nourishing hydrating it helps my hair to stay moisturized a lot longer than other products and it really works on 4c hair i just wanted to say that i just wanted to throw that out there because you know okay now back to the topic of this video so a podcast recently resurfaced of sin santana basically saying what does that mean sin i do black guys all day sorry Ooh. i did the spanish too i did yeah, the spanish I thing doesn't work out for me i'm good why what's wrong with guys that are hispanic i don't know i think they're too emotional you don't think I, yeah, they're very emotional. overly possessive me they know. are the puerto ricans oh my god oh, i got black guys can be possessive too right. yeah but they but they're controlling they can no hispanic men are very possessive though ridiculous and yeah. black guys cater to to us Spanish girls, especially like they. You know what? Let me not even get into. Uh oh, she gonna get herself in trouble now. The like black girls, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I, I, I didn't mean it like that, but you know, black girls gonna take it personal. They'll be like, uh uh. It was three women talking, and if you know Sin's voice, it was Sin who said, you know, black guys love Spanish girls, especially. Let me play that part again. Way more possessive, and yeah. black guys cater to to us Spanish girls, especially like they. You know what? Let me not even get into. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm got lipstick on. After you watch this video, I do want you to look at the reaction video that I did some weeks ago, maybe like three weeks ago. Um, and I was basically reacting to this Mexican girl that did a video, Bird Martinez. She did a video and I did my reactions to that. Now, if you watch that video, and this was about three weeks to a month ago that I did that video, and I spoke about this war between um, Latinx women and black women. I spoke about the war between the two. And one of my points was that black men is really at the root of this war since this podcast has resurfaced sin has gone on twitter she's been apologizing and you know what i do believe that her tweets and her apologies and she was trying her best to just you know really understand and listen to different people and their opinions you know and i appreciate that and i do I do accept her apology because Sin just comes off as a genuine chick to me. It's like I feel like I have, I feel like I know a lot of Sin Santanas, you know what I mean? So she comes off very genuine. But that thought, you know, and that statement that she made, it, it somewhere in her heart and in her mind, she believed that, right? Like at that time, she believed that. She probably still believes it. But I feel like what she didn't want to do was put black women down in the process. So that's probably what she's apologizing for. But please believe that she believes that black men love Spanish women, especially. That's a fact. And like I said in my, you know, in my other video, this is what they have told her. This is what they have told women like her. So they have no choice but to believe it and regurgitate it when the time arises. I'm gonna read some of her tweets. So I'll post some of her tweets here. Someone someone said, stop explaining yourself to strangers. And she said, nah, I'm gonna explain myself because these strangers are black women and I especially love the black women. I've never in my life bashed one, never will. Oh yeah, I'm gonna explain myself and shed some clarity on a clip that's being spread around with little context. Um, and then someone said, what you actually said was spun and taken out of context, blah, 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 blah. Um, she said, thank you, I appreciate your thoughts. I'm defending my character, but I most importantly want to have a transparent conversation with a solid group of black women who can correct me and others to change the narrative. And that's why I said, I feel like I know a lot of Sin Santana. A lot of people of color are recovering colorists, meaning at some point in time whether you're light-skinned dark-skinned you know afro-latina whatever dark indian whatever at some time you had to recover from this thought that at the closer to whiteness that you look the better or the prettier you are so a lot of people are recovering colorists and i appreciate the fact that you know she made that statement and said you know what i want to talk to some solid black women and have this conversation because why did i think that way why did i believe that why do i possibly still believe that and once again it's the narrative of black men that told her that i don't i, don't, I personally 
personally wholeheartedly don't think that she just woke up one day and said oh you know because i'm spanish let's use her word spanish because i'm spanish black men will love me more no as she grew up as she walks down the block as she goes here as she goes there as she encounters people this has been her truth the black men have probably always chose her over her friends because she was the lighter woman because she was racially ambiguous but at the same time we do have to hold her accountable we have to hold black men accountable as well you know what are you feeding these latinx women what are you feeding these white women and it's like sis i need you to understand that that black man that you think loves you especially because you're not black he came from a black vagina like i need you to understand that a black womb carried this man okay he can't come from you he came from me so i need you to understand when you when you when they say things to you like that and you digest it and then you regurgitate it out as, as if it's true it's toxic it's a very toxic way of thinking and it's a toxic way of behaving i just want to encourage you anybody and everybody when someone makes comments like that shut them down not oh you're beautiful i i love you know spanish women i don't i don't date black women because they're not as good looking as you and then you <laughs> thank you you're then you become a part of the problem when you shut it down when you say nah like that's not even a compliment bro that's like somebody saying oh you pretty to be dark skin because i don't even like dark skin girls that's not a compliment to me that's an insult so when you take that as an insult versus a compliment i think then we can begin to change the conversation then we can change the narrative so since Santana is trying to figure out you know how we can change the narrative you change the narrative by stopping people from these fake backhanded compliments because at the same time you complimenting me should not be you putting someone else down that the comparison is where you start a war when you say this group is better than this group or this group is better than this group that's when you start that war because people literally start to believe that they believe believe I'm better because I'm light-skinned they believe I'm better because I'm Dominican they believe I'm better because I'm white when that's not true you know what I'm saying I'm preaching I'm preaching okay he goes on and says we Dominicans don't do enough studying on our history which is true we are black which is debatable right um many ref many refuse to believe it because ignorance and wanting to feel superior but nah I know who my ancestors are. That's what's up. 90% of that island descended from Africa. Small percentage European. I don't want to offend anyone. Thank you for sharing this information. It is imperative. Well, you know, there are these people and on these islands that don't consider themselves black, but are to some degree black and that's a whole nother video you know let me know if you want me to do a video on that but if you've watched some of my controversial videos you'll kind of know where i stand on this where you know i feel like as a black community we kind of just i'm not even gonna talk i'm not gonna talk about it i'm not gonna talk about it <laughs> so let's say that for another video let's talk about sin and this video women just taking everything that a man has to say taking it to the grave taking it to be bible taking it to be the truth and it's like girl no it was sad to say but we can name so many you know i guess interracial relationships where these black men are dating these latinas and treating them like dog shit so it's like yeah he's choosing you but please believe and like i said that mindset is very toxic he does not even love his own mother why would he love you he's disrespecting black women when he came from a black woman and he's choosing you and he's telling you that he only dates spanish women because they're the best they're beautiful they're more pretty they oh they cook better they love better they this they that the same toxic man that you think is choosing you over me. You may think he is coming back to you, but I'm done. It. That same man is gonna take you and beat you over the head. That same man is gonna take you and knock all your teeth out. That same man is gonna mentally and physically abuse you, mentally and physically neglect you. Because, like I said, it's not coming from a place of true love. It's not coming from a place of self-love as well as loving others. It's coming from a place of literally toxicity. And I feel like, you know, what time she was able to mature and grow, but we've literally seen her begging the same black man, the same black man that loves Spanish women, especially. I'll play the clip. And every, every time I try to talk to you, you're dismissive. You're dismissive as I want someone that's gonna listen to me and make me feel like I'm important. You don't make me feel like that. I'm, no, I'm not gonna make you feel like that when everything you bring to me is about some real tiny bullshit while I'm in the middle of the work. Well, this is a recent clip of her 
that clip is just disgusting it really makes me really sad i'm not really a fan of joel thick like just just think a little bit deeper we live in a misogynistic society and you know unfortunately like a lot of men what they say holds so much weight you know what i mean and it's up to us you know we got to start holding these guys accountable because a lot of them they're just repeating things that they've heard their father say who's repeated things that they heard their grandfather say who's repeating things with it's just a honestly it's just the a lineage of fuck boys speaking to you okay so half the time you just need to figure out all right what percentage you got floating around in your dna because i can't consume that <sighs> okay well I am done. I have to go ahead and go crazy in the comments. I like my fancy face. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and you check out my other uploads. Bye.